Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. There's been a lot of news the past few days, so it's only right that I cover it. For our first story of the day, she got kicks, got herself in some dark water because she was talking reckless on Twitter. She said this. There should only be no pushing and wreck. Y'all park bitches complaining about it are soft. And obviously, when you say something that reckless, people are gonna come at your throat with some heavy artillery. <laughs> and you could scroll down, all the replies is just people mocking her. And things got very serious when Joe Knows quote tweeted saying this. This is the type of people 2K invites to community day and wonders why the community is never happy with the game. Hank the Tank replied to that and said, W tweet. And apparently she got kicks, didn't have enough ammunition for Joe Noah, so she took shots at Hank instead. She said this. Shut your soft ass up, Hank. You had to pay VC for a girl to sit on you. Someone seems to have lost their temper over a virtual animation being removed from a pixelated video game. I have no comment, have a great day. It took you to delete your tweet and 30 more minutes to come up with that, question mark? Basically, that was the gist of the story. So we just got this video off with some senseless Twitter drama. <laughs> Promise the next one's better. Hey, for our next story of the day, my goodness, this story warms my heart. Because it's a story that never should have happened, but now that it's happened, it's just kind of funny, all right? The official NBA 2K Twitter account put out this senseless tweet. Saying this, roll it. Should we create a half court shot badge? Question mark, thinking emoji. And it, it, they just dropped the video of like NBA players not even shooting at the half court because that's his own free throw line there. That's a full court shot. <laughs> and yo, I'ma just put it this way. People were not happy about the tweet. G-Man said, I'm not getting a logo anytime soon, so I'ma just say it. What in the hell are you smoking? Agent Zero himself, me and him go way back. He's a collaborator on this channel. He said, well, he just put a face palm emoji. Very disappointed. He didn't have words for what they were saying. If you do, I'm greeting every shot from there and will be the most hated person on 2K. Even the Raptors uprising Twitter got in on the mix, man. They, they just dropped a nice little punctual Steve Harvey gift. Very fitting for the occasion. Stop playing, yo. Sharps and stretches are already OP. Hank just said yes. He said, yeah, I, I want that. And D-Jack himself. I don't even know who that is. He just dropped a funny ass meme. Oh no. All it took was one tweet and everybody erupted. It got to the point where Brian Mazik, contributor for Forbes, even dropped an article titled this. The fact that 2K asked if it should include a half court badge in NBA 2K20 has me worried. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten to that point, man. It was just one tweet, man. It's just one, one of them tweets. All right, the reality of this tweet is simple. There's a social media guy or girl that clearly doesn't play 2K and doesn't pay attention to the community. Tried to pull off a joke. Clearly they whiffed. Nobody thought it was funny. I mean, they have people literally shooting from full court here. That would absolutely break the game. And so nobody saw the joke for what it was because it was a horrible joke and everybody just took it seriously they knew it would ruin the game and there was a ton of backlash so what's likely gonna happen is this innocent social media guy that just tried to make a funny joke for NBA 2k's Twitter account is gonna walk into the office right on the next business day and everybody's gonna be staring at him and they're gonna be like yo all you had to do was not f up just drop some content how did you manage to get the whole community angry at us man don't do that so this is a lesson for all the other developers, publishers that have Twitter accounts or any sort of content creating account. Get people that play the game. They wouldn't make these mistakes. Just saying. For our next story of the day, oh Lord, Steezo and Power are back in the news. Man, these guys just been taking shots at one another forever now, all right? And the shots continued because somebody asked Power a question in his stream and it, well, I'll let you watch. Bro, like, what do you mean? The man said dodging Steezo. Who's dodging Steezo? Tell Steezo to pull up, but I'm not scared of Steezo. If Steezo expect me to follow him around and pull him up, I'm not. Let Steezo know he's not imported to me. If he wants to play me so bad, he can pull up on me. Nobody's scared of him. Promise you, I'm going to stay on the spot, man. Nobody is scared of Steezo. ISO does not work. He ISOs against Vandoms in the park, and then he's like, yo, I'm so good. Like, okay, oh, you can do random dribble moves on Vandoms. He, the second Steezo try dribbling on me with ISO, I'm going to click the S button, bro. We're going to be spamming, bro. We're going to be spamming. There ain't going to be no ISO. There's going to be some ripping, bro. Ain't nobody spamming dribble moves in my face. I promise you that. I promise you. I promise you I'm going to be spamming. I'm going to do hands up defense the whole entire time. I'm going to be spamming every second. He's not going to get a chance to dribble. I'm telling you, bro. 
and not happening. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, I mean, an eruption like that, you know, word eventually gets back. All right, you guys in the community, you guys love to incite drama, bro. I see it happen every single day. This was prompted by a question in the chat. Somebody's like, hey, stop running from Steezo. And then Power got defensive and attacked. And then, of course, that same person's gonna record and clip this and send it to Steezo on Twitter to get Steezo's reaction. And, of course, we got Steezo's reaction. <laughs> You guys start drama, man. For no reason, you'll just start it. And then you you guys will literally point at the YouTubers and be like, hey, stop getting in drama. But you're starting it. <laughs> Steezo said on Twitter, one of the most toxic and annoying YouTubers in the community, but everyone just lets you rock. Been a center every single year because you are trash. Grinding DF saved your YouTube career. Not sure if you're mentally handicapped or not, but the way you talk... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> if you guys don't remember, a couple months ago there was some more drama going on and Steezo issued some threats. And there was a couple DF members, I think, that tried to get his account banned on Twitter. And so Steezo was tweeting about that, saying they were literally trying to report his account and get it banned. So the rivalry has been going on for a while now. You know, Power said in the video that what you do takes no skill. And Steezo saying, then how come you can't do it? And how come when I do it, it's so effective? And then Power saying, bring it on. So ladies and gentlemen, we need this match to happen for the community, all right? I know Power, you have a PS4 account, come on now. All right, bring it over here to PS4 and let's make this game happen. I'm almost certain they're gonna get in some more drama in the next few weeks. Like it's just bound to happen. So uh, we'll see what happens, how this situation escalates, man. But this war ended today. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what the f was that? For our, <laughs> for our next story. <laughs> For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, some a little bit of drama in the my team community. Now, if you didn't know, there's a whole underworld to NBA 2K, and it's guys who sell accounts, it's guys who grind badges, it's guys who sell MT. And boy, the, I, yo, when I'm telling you some of these guys make in the deep six figures, they make in the deep six figures, my guys. You, McGurk, you guys remember McGurk from the last 2K drama lore? He got accused of doing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, he was accusing this character, Phantoms, of scamming people, and he has like a whole MT selling service. He put out a tweet saying, how dudes calling me a scammer, LMAO, I refund people with my own money, and he showed receipts of him refunding people because there's some situations where you get some guy, he, he pays you money, but it doesn't work out. And so you wanna pay him back. I've been in a very rough situation in 2K17 where I promoted a badge company and it went left and my fans were left up because they were the ones who were scammed. So I had to pay out of my pocket to reimburse everybody because I don't want to make everyone think I was scamming folks, right? And so the accusations calling him a scammer are just false. There's no evidence for it. There was a couple tweets he deleted I managed to screenshot and maybe this is the reason why I put it in the story because it will show you just how much you have the potential to make when you sell MT or when you sell accounts or when you do any of that kind of stuff. Because I don't even think he's really that popping. You don't see him being promoted on YouTube channels the way you see other people being promoted, right? But he put out a tweet saying, I made 5K off this shit clean, get off my d McGurk been a pussy dude, racist and will get rocked. He say this shit around the wrong people, the internet's your best friend. So I don't really care, honestly, I don't care about the drama that much, but I'm more interested in the fact that he made 5,000 off of it. I've talked to people, multiple, multiple people who've made tens of thousands. And, and the problem with 2K is it's so hard to get badges that in almost every situation, it makes more sense for you to just buy an account or to buy MT from somebody and take those extra hours you would have took mindlessly grinding something like my career or domination and just spend it working a low minimum wage job. So if you're broke in 2019, you got to get creative. You have to just try some, just try some stuff. I'm trying to get an Xbox account soon. I'm just gonna buy somebody's account. Actually, hold on, that's against TOS. No, allegedly, all right? I didn't, I would never do such a thing, never. Are you crazy? All I'm saying is this, get the money in any way you can. And there's a lot of ways to make it, ladies and gentlemen. For our next story of the day is a Fortnite related one, but also applies to NBA 2K. Daquan, a popular Fortnite content creator, put out a tweet saying this. One day, game developers will realize that you can't protect noobs from getting bopped. You add ranked, people will smurf. You separate casual and ranked, people will just go bot farming casuals. You try and change the game mechanics to save him, you ruin the game. 
history doesn't lie. And basically all the Twitch streamers were responding to this. I mean, you have Dakotas responding, Summit1G agreeing, Ninja agreeing, Kenneth agreeing, left, right, and center. I even seen some 2K content creators quote tweeting that saying 2K, take some notes. And in Fortnite, you'd be correct. That probably wouldn't work. But on NBA 2K, it is very challenging for people to smurf. If you don't know what a smurf is, it's basically when a very skilled player in the game gets tired of playing other skilled levels at his rank, and so he makes a new account in the hopes of being matched up with worse players in entry-level lobbies and just murdering them. And so you can imagine if a professional player is playing with guys who just picked up the sticks, he's gonna cause a, he's, it's gonna be murder. Like, it's, it's gonna be too easy. And people do that on a lot of different games like Rainbow Six, League of Legends, CSGO, you name it. But I guess one of the negatives of 2K that in this situation turns into a positive is that it's very hard to smurf. Cause you have to grind your player. It takes dozens of hours to get your player to the level where you feel comfortable playing online with him. And so unlike Fortnite where you can just make a new account and smurf if there was a ranked and unranked system, in 2K that's not possible. Which is why I've been saying for a very long time ranked unranked would solve a lot of problems. Because I do feel like one of the biggest problems with 2K that no one's talking about is the fact that people aren't playing park games. It takes like 5-10 minutes just to get one game for the normal person who's not a popular YouTuber. And that's not right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to ever wait that long in any matchmaking lobby or in any park. And you can solve that problem by matching people up with people at their skill level, giving them that option. There's always going to be negatives to any solution. But this Daquan tweet and all the response from all the streamers and everything is a result of that new update Fortnite did where they removed the mats and the health that you get after you kill somebody. And yo, everybody's angry. I mean, every every single human I know is angry about it. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, I don't even know enough about soccer, but I know his name. And if I know your name, that means you're, you're at the top of your fucking crap because I don't watch the sport. Even he said Fortnite. Zlatan says revert. <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was an interesting story and I wanted to give my two cents. For the next story of the day, yo, um, I don't know what goes on behind the doors of a lot of these NBA 2K League teams, but it has to be juicy drama. Dave Fry, competitive player, put out this tweet saying this. If we handle things like men in Dallas instead of going behind each other's backs, we would have been a championship contender. And he was responding to an unpopular opinion, 2K League Edition. I said it in my last drama alert, and I'm gonna make it quick and I'm gonna say it again. Get a camera, get a camera. This content cannot be missed. If you decide afterwards you don't wanna use it because it's too risky, cool. But at least record the damn thing when it's happening because this is some high tier drama of people leaving teams and other people saying, I can't work with this guy because of this and that. Get it captured on video, man. I would want to see it. For our final story of the day, the one and only Nadex, he's on a streak, man, at this point. He's in the news. He said this on Twitter. I just heard from a friend that IQ Contain couldn't talk to me anymore or respond to my DMs or he's kicked from DF. Y'all are something else. LMFAO, y'all got catfishes controlling. You know that's tough. Let me stop. Basically what's happening is this character called IQ Contain joined a clan called DF and DF was telling him, allegedly, don't talk to Nade or we're gonna cut you from the group. Obviously, word got around to the people in DF and they had a reaction, this is what they said. LMAO, this is why I have trouble recruiting younger people. People like this who are immature and love any attention they get. People like IQ can ruin it for the people who actually deserve a spot. I'm done giving new recruits handouts. They always let me down. Who wouldn't be a clout chasing dumbass if they joined DF? Drop your gamer tag. I need a W recruit. And in the replies, he explained what he was talking about a little bit more. He said this. IQ is telling lies to Nade and T-Jack to look cool, LMFAO. T-Jack is a part of Nade's clan. He responded to grinding saying this. You wild, he actually didn't even say anything bad. I'm not sure what happened, but he just seemed like power didn't want him around Nade. I'm not sure what happened, but y'all and Nate have hella beef so I can see where everything is coming from. He wouldn't leave you guys. Grinding responded saying, dude, you know what me and Powers focus is on. I honestly couldn't care less who IQ plays with, to be honest. I don't even want him in DF anymore if he's so comfortable telling you BS. You know he complains how Nate's on his dick 24 seven in our group chat. Guess he's playing both teams. He dropped a screenshot of him saying, Nate wants me so bad, he won't leave me alone. <laughs> So long story short, there's basically been a whole lot of drama between clans, taking players from this clan and taking players from that clan. Even Nadex himself put out some tweets in the last week saying, ever since he's lost his YouTube channel, he's streaming on Mixer, there's been more people leaving his clan. And he's calling those people clout chasers saying they was, they was only around for his clout. And so once he lost that on YouTube, they cut. Things got a little bit more intense because Nade dropped a tweet earlier this week saying, 
If you watch my streams the past couple days, I have completely changed the way I act on stream. I'm trying my best to be able to get my partnership with Mixer. I'ma keep grinding for this no matter what. Grinding quote tweeted that and said, you were the fakest person on Twitter. Tomorrow you're gonna go back to crying to your fans to still support you and promise you're a positive person. Get off our dick and start filling up job applications. <laughs> and at this point, grinding new agent Beamstar himself was taking screenshots and he was watching. He put out a tweet saying, I feel like my Twitter on 24 seven watch, LMFAO. It used to be you can talk your shit on here and it'd be done with, but now if you talk your shit, expect it to be in a YouTube video tomorrow. Ta-da! <laughs> Steezo himself decided to drop his two cents. He said this on Twitter. You don't need a clan to be great. Seek individuality. I don't hate clans, but it enforces a lot of groupthink and mob mentality. A false sense of loyalty when in most cases, the only ones eating are the ones at the top. End of the day, we are all alone, but all alone, we are united. And I couldn't have said it any better myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's been it for the news, man. Uh, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, put on post notifications, click this video, that video, this video, or that video, on any of the videos on the screen, to be honest with you. Hey, hey, my Instagram's in the description. I've been posting on there. Watch that, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>